so dear learners uh, in this video we will be discussing about uh, the another type of uh, system model that is the diagram that is sequence diagram okay so basically uh, sequence diagram is a type of uh, actually interaction model so in the previous video we discussed about the use case model so basically so the use case model and uh, sequence diagrams um, these are the two types of uh, the diagram that will come under uh, interaction models are concerned okay so let's have a uh, just have a look at some of the points regarding with uh, the sequence diagram is going to concern um, so in this particular video we will be discussing about uh, uh, what is the exact uh, the purpose of uh, drawing this sequence diagram what about the notations okay so and we will take uh, one or two examples and we will discuss here okay so basically uh, sequence diagrams are uh, part of the uh, UML that is unified modeling uh, language and are used to model the interaction between the uh, actors and uh, the objects okay so as we told that sequence diagram is also a type of interaction model so this particular diagram is also very much useful uh, to exhibit the interaction which are going to taken place between the actors and the objects within a system okay so if you take any functionality uh, as a part of your uh, system is concerned that we are going to develop okay so that you can represent uh, by using uh, uh, these sequence diagrams okay and uh, in that particular functionality what are all the different interactions or a sequence of activities which are going to take place okay between uh, the actors and the objects that can be exhibited over here okay then uh, a sequence diagram also shows the sequence of interactions okay uh, that take place during a particular uh, use case or uh, use case instance see normally uh, as we discussed in the previous video use case models are uh, going to be um, a very abstract level of representation so only use case models are not so much of useful uh, to understand in depth uh, the variety of interaction that will be taken place okay so along with the use case models normally we always prefer uh, uh, some some sort of tabular description and also along with uh, uh, these sequence diagrams are going to be uh, very much uh, useful okay uh, to elaborate the use case models for that purpose also we will be using the uh, sequence diagrams and uh, the objects uh, actually in this uh, sequence diagrams are concerned the objects and uh, actors uh, involved uh, that will be listed along the top of the diagram okay uh, and uh, also with a dotted line drawn vertically from uh, uh, these objects and uh, uh, actors are concerned see for example say if you look at this particular example here so here is one uh, simple example of a sequence diagram that we have drawn it for uh, um, patient uh, to view patient information that is uh, so this example uh, has been taken from uh, uh, msc pms mental health clinic uh, uh, patient management software so there um, a view patient information is one kind of functionality that MSC PMS is supposed to provide. Is it clear? Okay. So, if in that particular functionality, okay, how we can draw the sequence diagram means what are the dif different sequence of interactions that will be taken place when we are going to perform this uh, uh, view patient uh, uh, information is concerned. So, just have a look at here in this particular diagram. Uh, uh, if you look at the top uh, part of this particular sequence diagram there we have listed uh, the actors and uh, the objects okay and even look at the notation that we are using uh, to represent the actor we will be using the stick diagram and uh, objects will be get, get represented using what uh, the rectangular uh, boxes so that we have shown at the uh, top of the diagram okay and below to that uh, we will be we have drawn some dotted lines here okay so that dotted lines are going to be um, used uh, to connect the different uh, uh, sequence of interactions okay in the later uh, stages are concerned so in this particular diagram if you want to trace the diagram here okay so just uh, uh, see here so our actor in this particular diagram is a medical receptionist okay so basically this view patient information is done by what the medical receptionist means any medical receptionist can view the patient uh, information if if that medical receptionist is supposed to uh, suppose wants to uh, see the view patient information then how actually the sequence of interactions are going to be taken place okay so how we need to design and implement the system because 
view patient information is not a single activity okay when we start elaborating with such kind of with the help of this sequence uh, diagrams it will reveal that what are all the different interactions which are hidden th within this uh, view patient information just have a look at here so initially the um, medical receptionist is going to uh, send a request okay so for what the view patient uh, information of uh, some particular uh, patient with a pid pid in the sense what uh, this id for the patient that will be sent to the object uh, patient information from the patient information okay along with that pid and along with that uh, that user id of that particular patient uh, receptionist that will be sent to the database of what msc pms okay so from that msc pms immediately the information will not be get received for the medical receptionist first it will check the authorization of that particular medical receptionist because uh, whether that medical receptionist is authorized to view the patient information or not because the patient information will be always uh, secured and uh, we have to maintain the privacy there everyone will, will not be allowed to uh, view the patient uh, information okay there there might be a chances of misusing that so that is why authorization will be get checked there okay if if that particular person is authorized then only see there uh, the information of of the patient will be sent from uh, uh, database to the uh, to the patient information okay so automatically so here uh, the that, that particular medical receptionist is going to um, view the information of that particular patient so in case of authorization is going to be get failed at any time see there an, an error message will be uh, displayed saying that there will be no access to this particular medical uh, receptionist means uh, just to view the information all these different interaction have to be taken place okay so that's the reason that normally whenever we are defining the functionality or requirement simply if i define the system should be able to provide a facility to view patient information it is not sufficient for a developer okay so for the developer when we will when we will draw such kind of sequence diagram then he will realize that yes to view the information of any patient these are all the things that should be get designed and implemented so this is how our sequence diagrams are going to be what helpful and even if you look at in this particular sequence diagram you can observe here so we are going to use that arrow mark here to mention the interaction from um, actor to an object or from one object to the another object you can observe here okay and also the dotted lines that we are going to use here that indicates then acknowledgement of that message has been received um, at the destination okay and uh, even you can observe uh, the vertical uh, uh, rectangular boxes here so these particular boxes are going to show that uh, for what time uh, for uh, what extent of time this particular objects are going to be active okay so if, if you observe here in this particular diagram okay so the medical receptionist is going to be active from beginning to the end of the uh, this particular overall session okay but whereas this authorization is going to be active only as for a small instant of time means only to check that whether the user is authorized or not only for that particular time extent this particular object will be what active okay so that will be clearly shown here so it it, it will it, it will help for the developer uh, in 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 case of what design and implementation of uh, all these um, objects okay so during the implementation of this overall functionality of what view patient uh, information so this is one example of what uh, the sequence diagram here so you can look at the another uh, example that we have taken here this is for uh, transfer data okay so how the data will be get transferred um that that we have uh, discussed uh, even in previous video uh, with respect to the use case diagram and uh, tabular uh, description okay now uh, that we are going to show it in a sequence diagram here if you observe here see there data transfer is going to be taken place between what a medical receptionist and what the prs that is the patient record uh, uh, system here okay so the very first thing is if medical receptionist wants to transfer the data that particular person should we have what the login to the prs so that is the uh, basic basic requirement here okay so once the login is done by this particular person then uh, they, they, they can send and request for what updating the information that is what to transfer the data into the uh, patient information from that okay so it will be taken to the uh, msc pms uh, database 
ओके फ्रॉम देयर इट विल बी टेकन टू द ऑथराइजेशन बिकॉज ओनली ऑथराइज्ड रिसेप्शनिस्ट कैन परफॉर्म और ट्रांसफर द डाटा हियर इज इट क्लियर इफ दे इफ देयर इफ देयर ऑथराइजेशन इज ओके देन ओनली सी देयर द अपडेट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर पेशेंट विल बी डन इन द पी आर एस ओके वंस द अपडेट विल बी डन इट विल सेंड बैक द इट इज इज गोइंग टू सेंड द एक्नोलेजमेंट ओके सेंग दैट ओके अपडेशन हैज बीन डन सक्सेसफुली सो दिस इज रिलेटेड टू वॉट अपडेटिंग द इंडिविजुअल पेशेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन लाइक अड्रेस नेम एज प्रिस्क्रिप्शन वॉट एवर इट मे बी सो सिमिलरली द सेम कैंड ऑफ अपडेशन कैन बी डन इन टर्म्स ऑफ समरी ऑल्सो ओके द सेम थिंग बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ समरी सी देयर ओके सो इवन फॉर समरी ऑल्सो एक्चुअली ऑथराइजेशन विल बी गेट चेकड इफ इट इज ऑथराइज देन वी हैव एडेड ऑन एक्स्ट्रा ऑब्जेक्ट हियर टू अपडेट द समरी फ्रॉम दिस समरी द ओवरऑल इंफॉर्मेशन विल गेट गेट अपडेटेड इन पी आर एस ओके दैट इज पेशेंट रिकॉर्ड सिस्टम लेटर एंड एक्लॉडमेंट मैसेज विल बी सेंट दैट इज मैसेज ओके देन फाइनली वन द डाटा ट्रांसफर इज ओके जस्ट यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर इवन द रिसेप्शनिस्ट इज गोइंग टू लॉग आउट फ्रॉम द पी आर एस okay that will be done so that is the end of the uh, overall activity is concerned that is what the data transfer in uh, msc pms okay so this is how we have represented in the sequence diagram so if you look at this particular diagram here so it will clearly mention that in depth uh, what are all the things which are going to taken place uh, while implementing this transfer data as a kind of functionality for msc pms software is uh, concerned okay so this is how our sequence diagrams are going to be very much helpful uh, in understanding uh, in depth uh, overall implementation strategies to be applied uh, for any functionality or requirements are going to be con con considered okay so uh, in, in the next video we'll be discussing about uh, the upcoming uh, different system uh, models okay thank you